Hey y'all, welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of Slay the Princess. Uh, first, I wanted to let you guys know, I did figure out what was hiding my mouse cursor and it was my recording software for some reason had it hidden. So um, I put it on here, like undid it just because, I don't know, I was I was telling you about it. You see how it looks like a little gross hand? Um, oh gosh, calm down girl. Uh, well, anyways, I, you know, I've made comments about how the hand changes periodically when we're doing different stuff in each run. So I wanted to undo it so you guys could see that. Hopefully you guys can see that. I actually won't know until I get into editing, but you know, if, uh, if it's not there, well then, then you'll know. But I don't know how many more runs we can do of this, but I did read up a little bit on Slay the Princess from the Steam community page. And apparently, uh, like the developers of the game are actually adding like a 25, they call it a 25% more story expansion. It's going to be free. Like it's automatically just going to be added on. And they're working on some other stuff, which I'm so excited for. I'm, I'm loving this game. It's simple, yet like it just draws you in with its story. So, uh, and you know, the, the whole idea of, <laughs> of should we slay the princess? Should we help the princess? You know, it, it's just... It's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. So, anyways, uh, I wanted to start a new run. And um, oh, we're going to load game. We're going to go here. We're going to start another run. So, in this run, we did two try to kill the princesses. But the first one I hesitated on. The second one, I went right for it. But we both died. This one... I went to save her the first time I saved her. I died and, and she got free. Second time, we both escaped together, which is the most recent video that you guys have seen. So I think in this run, I'm going to try to do the slay her without any hesitation. No questions, just go right for her. I want to see if it's different. I also don't know, like, because I played so far already and we've started collecting the different possible outcomes for that whatever entity keeps grabbing the princess. If that means that regardless of what I choose, even if it's the same stuff over, the story's still going to alter because we're so far in it. So, with that being said, let's just jump into it. Everything goes dark and you die. I know, I know. Chapter one again. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. I don't know. Can you, I think you guys can see this. Um, what is this? Oh wait, you're, we will meet again. Everything goes dark. Oh, so that, I guess that just kind of shows me what just happened. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. End of the world, yes. You can skip previously seen dialogue by hitting tab on your keyboard or L2 on your controller. Okay. All right, I know, um, 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 silently continue. I want to go right for it. You make your way up like the no hesitation. To the cabin. You'll find the princess within. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Well, too bad. We're going to, we're going to slay him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Right, he doesn't. He doesn't. No, I know. Let's go. There'll be the pristine blade. We'll grab the blade. And we will immediately go in there the and stab her in her face. Almost entirely bare. The air is stay the blade. Yep, but we've heard all that. Take the blade. You take the blade. Skip that into the basement. Like I said, we are going right for it. Now you see my cursor. If you can see it, it, it changed. Creeps. Now I'm holding a blade. Feeling a staircase faintly. Her voice carries. Who's there? Okay, so it's a deeper voice she this time dangerous. because I chose the blade. So don't let it fool you. Yes, don't let it fool you. Blah, 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 blah. Continue down the stairs. Good. You're still listening to reason. Yes, I know. I'm going to go right for her. You I'm not hesitating. Stairs, we lock, lock eyes with her. Princess. She's beautiful. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Of course. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? She's, she's definitely a threat. Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? <laughs> Snarky little face. Uh, steal your nerves and step forward. Oh. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh, no talking then? Fine. 
What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Now see, last time I was right here and um, I think I asked, like, are you sure she's not armed or something? So, Slayer. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. You feel oh yes, away, right into her. To see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Yes, princess. Look at her face. Look at you, you little freak. Oh, this is it, isn't it? <laughs> she she did not expect me to just go right for it. I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming, but I have to wonder. Do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? It's like. She's convinced she can't die. Well, we kind of have seen this over and over, y'all. Yes. Even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago. That arrogant look still plastered on her face. <laughs> she does look arrogant. Look at her. But is it over? Really over? Um, yes it yes, is. Exactly. It's over. It's over. I told you no hesitation. Like no hesitation. With your work done, you make your way back up the stairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. Okay. Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? Of course we haven't. You did kill someone. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in. And help ease your guilty conscience. Okay. But that day isn't today. Let's just get out of here. Yep, leave. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Only, a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Of course. <laughs> Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. What happened? Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. This is good. Everyone is happy. You'll be happy. I wonder if the narrator is actually the evil one in this game. Let me out of here. Oh, okay. I was kind of hoping I'd get a better ending... For saving the world. Nope, just go. Oh, okay. So glad you're keeping an open mind. I told you, no hesitation. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Yep, totally. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days or months <laughs> or years or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. Psst. Hey, we're not just going to stay here forever, right? Um, didn't you hear the narrator? I'm happy. We're happy. Hell no. Do you have any idea how to get us the heck out of here? Of course we are. I like it here. Yep. Really? Well, if you ever change your mind, just let me know, I guess. <laughs> More happy time passes, though the word begins to lose its meaning. Mm. Time, that is. Not happy. Happy still has plenty of meaning. Of course it does. Please, shake yourself out of it. We have to get out of here. The little voices, please, fall on deaf ears. Eventually you pass into a blissful state of pure existence. Though words like eventually and pass ceased to have any meaning to you long before that shift, you simply exist. Happy. Forever. How do we not die? Because we're not eating anything. We're sleeping. <laughs> what the heck is this? Already committed to my completion. You cannot go further astray. Hey, past the point of no return. Okay. Okay, I'm not happy, and I'm I'm not just saying that because you're the last person I talked to. Okay. All right. So. 
so basically we we did that we did that thing where we fully committed to the narrator so that that's what it does so now it rewinds us put us back here okay i'm gonna say this Good. now because i have an idea to get us out of here though you're probably not going to like it his idea is to go back down to the princess the blade we can use the blade to get out of this. Kill ourselves? What? That's horrible. I can hear everything you say, little voice. There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on. And I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. He's right. It's the only way out. Do so we can restart is what he's trying to say. It wants to take this happiness away from you. It wants this wonderful place to end. Do you not? There's more for us to do. And the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. Don't you dare. Um, wouldn't using the blade, you know, kill us? Wouldn't we be dead? Uh, anything to get the hell out? Okay, yep, <sighs> just do you. it. I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough reward for saving the world? An eternity of bliss? You, you... Ingrate. Oh, hey, what's with the name, Colin? Narrator, come on, man. Fine, whatever. For the first time since time stopped meaning anything, you throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. The princess's body is dust and bones, oh. <laughs> though the blade you used to slay her is still as pristine as the day you first held it. Why? How is it pristine? You pick up the blade, you stab oh. yourself, and you die. Oh, the I end. Nice knowing you. <laughs> He's like, get the hell out of here. Okay. Chapter two, the specter. So this is a different chapter two now. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of your Okay, we've heard it, we've heard it, we've heard it. Um, oh you bastard, you're in for it now. I'm wise to your tricks. I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. I'm trying to think of what we should do. If we should just go to the cabin. Now I have I have never um, I've never picked up the blade, went into the basement, and not tried to slay her. And I've never left the blade at the top of the cabin, went downstairs, and still tried to slay her. So I need to try to do those two things. Um, and then some of these things I haven't said, so maybe we'll, we'll do this By one. tricks? What on earth are you talking about? We've just met for the first time. We have not, narrator. We've met before. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Oh, maybe I've... Oh, I think I remember this line. Maybe I clicked That's that already. Fine. It wasn't very hard to kill her last time. Oh. We'll just do it again. <laughs> Voice of the cold. Yeah, I just like a stone cold killer. I just walked right in there. Well, if for whatever reason you're going to insist that this has happened before, at least your heart's in the right place. <laughs> Okay, let's assume I'm telling the truth. All this really did happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Um, I don't want to do that. I just proceed to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. She will lie. She will cheat. And she do everything will in her power to stop. Yes, I know. Be a problem. Yeah, she will be a problem. I got this. So we've gotten cold and we've gotten broken, which seem the ones that are the opposite of each other. We've also the got the smitten the guy. Is cold. A soft odor of dirt permeating the air. Ugh. Cobwebs flutter in the corners. You what? can hear wind whistling outside, banging the shutters against the windows. The only furniture of note is an elegant antique table with a pristine blade perched on the edge. So we have not seen this cabin, I don't believe. The, the cobweb blade cabin? Is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. It feels like no one's been here for a long, long time. Like I've been saying, she's dead. We killed her already. <laughs> um, I'm trying to decide if I should take the blade. Um, 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 um. sure, I'll do it. I'll take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Into the basement. The door to the basement groans open, revealing an old banister and a creaky wooden stairwell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, and you can feel it settle into your lungs as you breathe in the Ugh. stale air. Gross. The very building itself 
feels dead. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. <laughs> he always works in that line. The room below is silent. Nobody's here, naturally. As much as I appreciate the optimism, you shouldn't be so sure. I guess we'll just have to go down and see. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view. A skeletal body lying in a heap on the floor, its wrist still bound to the wall by a thick chain. Oh gosh, yep, yep, she's already dead. Okay, she's definitely dead. It's just like I told you. Before you have a chance oh, to the? finish your thought, the top of a head appears from underneath the floor. Two deep set <laughs> eyes stare up <laughs> Look at her face! Followed by a mischievous skeletal grin. Oh my gosh. This is <laughs> I get it, yeah, she's she's just a ghost. And finally, the rest of the body floats up to join the head. Wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? <laughs> she <laughs> She's got a little X from where we stabbed her, and she looks a little, little happy as a, as a ghost. A g -g -g ghost. <laughs> the hero doesn't like it. Oh, wow! How absolutely terrifying! What's a ghost supposed to do to us? Oh, it's you, Hiya Keller. I was hoping to see you again. I have some issues with how our last meeting went. <laughs> yeah, you killer. <laughs> That's funny. The princess oh, the whoa, 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 whoa. Gently running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as she circles you. Oh, that's creepy. That's creepy. Listen, woman, back up. Back up, woman. Her touch is cold and ethereal, formless, yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing across your skin. Ooh, that's crazy. So she has a body, and she's right there. That means we could kill her again, if we wanted to. How are we going to kill her? We have a blade. Wait and see how things play. Oh, I really want to wait and see how things play out. But I also want to do this. I want to see if we can stab the ghost. I told you I've never grabbed the blade and went down and not tried to kill her. So maybe we'll do that in this. There's so many like possibilities of doing this. It's it, in this game. It's 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 hard to know which ones get me closer to the end quicker. I'm just going to wait. I see you brought that annoying knife again. I did. Yes. So are you waiting for a chance to use it? Or are you here for something else? Um, see, this is exactly what I was trying to tell you in the woods. This already happened. We already killed her. I killed you. What are you doing not not being dead? Do you know why you came back? Stop playing the victim. You threatened me last time. I'm sorry I killed you last time. I shouldn't have done that. Do you want me to die? Do you want me to kill myself to satisfy some sort of sick revenge fantasy? Because I already did that and it wouldn't be hard to do it again. <laughs> I'm sorry, is there any way I can make it up to you? The people who wanted you dead tricked me and the enemy of my enemy is friend. Let's team up. What do you want from me? Uh, if I knew I'd wind up having to talk to you again, I wouldn't have slain you. I died too and not floating around like you are. What happened? What? Why am I different? Why are you different? Oh my gosh, there's so many, so many options. You're dead, or at least mostly dead. What can you even do to hurt me? After I kill you, this cabin, I want to say it teleported. It wasn't in the woods anymore. Time stopped meaning anything, and I had to kill myself to escape. Guess I should tell you why I was sent to kill you. You were going to end the world. Hmm. There's so many dang options. Oh my gosh. Okay, team, I'm out of ideas. Or just slay the princess. Um... I'm just gonna tell her what happened to me. You poor thing. That, that must have been so frightening for you. Look at her little eyeballs. She's like, oh my god. She's acting so innocent. You know, after everything we've been through, it's nice to see someone finally sympathizing with us. This whole thing's been an ordeal, hasn't it? It really has. She doesn't mean it. It serves you right. Oh. I was pretty scared too. When you stood there not saying a word with a knife clenched in your fist, 
But now you know how bad it hurts to get stabbed in the chest. That's true. It sounds like you got Oh my gosh. That is horrifying. Um Victim, I'm sorry I killed you. I shouldn't have done that. Too little, too late. But you can, you can still, still make things right. right. How am I able to make things right? She's not in a position to bargain with us. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. We don't have to do anything, but maybe we should. We did kill her. Wouldn't it be the moral thing to help her now that we have another chance? When a hero slays a monster, does he apologize to it? <laughs> Depends on the monster. No. So don't try to make things right. She was going to end the world. You didn't do anything wrong. Aside from, apparently, killing yourself. And that doesn't have much to do with her. Hmm. Um. You... Uh, let's see here. What one do I want to do? What do you want from me? I just want the same thing I've always wanted. To go home. But this place won't let me go. At least, not alone. Not alone? I've tried. Before you came back to me, I explored every inch of this place. Even the spaces between the walls. But I never found a way out. I always wound up right back here. Maybe we should just leave. If she can't get out on her own, then why do we have to do anything? We could probably walk out right now and everything will be fine. Hasn't got out and can't get out are two very different things. Hmm, that's true. That'd be dull anyway. It's more interesting if we make a choice. <laughs> but you can come and go as you please, can't you? So, let me hitch a ride. Ah, she wants to, she wants to possess us. After all, you owe me. Girl, that face is not helping your case. Absolutely not. Is she asking if she can possess us? That's what she's asking. She is. And I hope I don't need to explain why you can't let that happen. It would be catastrophic <laughs> if she managed to escape this place. And if you let her in... There is very little anyone could do to stop her. Would she be able to see us if we went along with it? Now isn't that an interesting thought? We could finally bring her face to face with him. I wonder what she would have to say to the one who wants her dead so, so badly. You won't like how things play out if you go down this path. Mm -hmm. That is an interesting thought. Oh my goodness. So there's a possibility the narrator and her finally come face to face and she sees who's been in our ear. Or we just turn around and leave her down here and see what happens there. Um, hang on one second. Got to bring my... Where's it at? It's not, it's not showing me. Um, what the heck? Hang on. There we go. I was trying to bring my little recording timer over so I could, could watch it. All right. So, hmm. Before I agree to anything, we need to talk about what happens after you leave this place. I was told you'd end the world. Sounds great. Do it. Let the princess possess you. The answer is no. Return. What did she say if I say this? And what? You just believed that? You killed me without giving it any thought? That's cold. Yeah, hence the one cold voice. That's rich coming from her. Every time she touches us, it's like we freeze over. Mm-hmm. She's right, though, but that's neither here nor there. What's done is done. What we do from this point forward is all that matters. Let's try not to let emotion get the better of Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna let her do it because I want to see what happens. Uh, where's that? Return. Leave it at that. Oh, it's not letting me. What? I'm not cold. I'm just dumb. I'm just a big dumb, stupid idiot. Stupid, stupid, stupid. What was I thinking? Just believing what I was told. Uh, you didn't answer my question. Do you want it in the world? 
The only thing I've ever wanted was to leave this place. It's still the only thing I want. Okay. All right. So, what are you going to do if I help you get out of here? I don't know. Maybe I'll just fade away. I'm really able to rest once I'm free from my unfinished business. Maybe I'll find someone to haunt. Maybe I'll haunt you. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a tough question, asking someone what she's going to do with her life. The princess leans in close and pauses, the frigid air between you stale and unmoving. Oh my gosh, this is creepy. Especially when someone is dead. Oh gosh. She pulls back with a playful giggle. <laughs> She's all over the place. I don't think most living people could answer that either. Does anyone actually know who they are or what they want? She's trying to play mind games. Trying to play mind games. You still don't answer my question. Even if you don't want to end it, does letting you out of here mean the world is going to end? It does. We're not asking you. We've heard your whole speech already. I really, really don't know. I'm not lying to you. I promise. She promises us. The world doesn't matter. All I like remember is that I'm supposed to be there. There? Not here? I'm just supposed to be a part of it. It's its home, I think. I think she's talking about the entity that we see at the end of each of these runs that grabs her. But what does it mean for anything to end? I ended, but I also didn't. And you ended too. But here you are. And you don't, and you don't even look any different. I'm not so sure endings are real. Yeah, at this point, I'm not so sure. Okay, alright. Alright. Mmm. Do do do. Nesla, let's get you out of here. There we go. The princess swims through the air in front of you, pausing for a brief moment as her dark rimmed eyes stare deeply into yours. There's a hunger in her gaze. Oh gosh, what have we done? You're really are trying to make it up to me, aren't you? Thanks for being a pal, killer. I mean it. <laughs> Thanks for being a pal. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't just let her in. How many times do I have to tell you? <sighs> See you soon. Oh gosh. She rushes forward and then she's gone. A sharp chill spreads across your body. It starts in your chest, a freezing numbness flowing out from your heart all the way down your limbs, your mind growing cloudy and confused as it settles over your very soul. I'm not sure I like this. C can we get a do-over? There's no do-over. I'm afraid it's too late to stop now. The numbness gives way to a stabbing pain, your muscles twitching and convulsing violently, each involuntary movement causing more waves of agony to ripple across your body. Oh no. You collapse to the floor, and everything goes dark. Come on, you. You've got to get up. I know everything feels heavy right now, but we still have to get out of here. Okay. Your eyes flick back open as you get your bearings, your vision swimming as... So this is what it's like to be you, huh? Disembodied voice narrating your every move? Literally. So, it doesn't work like that for you? Clearly it doesn't. Or she wouldn't have commented on it. All these shards of broken glass on the floor, are they also supposed to be you? Yes, they are. Hey, I'm not a shard of broken glass, I'm... It's okay. You can finish your thought. I'm um, a voice. I'm um, me, is what I am. Who cares what we are? We exist. That's all that matters. You don't have to fight. We'll all be out of here soon. <laughs> Her voice got lighter. No, it matters. What we are matters. If I'm a shard of broken glass, then that raises some questions about certain other voices in here too. I'm clearly the same thing you are. They're not listening to me. Do they not listen to you either? No, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about him. You don't need to know what I am. You just need to know that I'm different from you. More important. More important. So, you're the one who pulled the strings and made me dead. I can tell you don't belong here. 
you're barely even there. Like the shape of something left behind. You're more of a memory than a person. That's rude. <laughs> That's rude. You're kind of like me, actually. I'm just going to ignore her. You push yourself off the ground. The princess is nowhere to be seen. Obviously, she's nowhere to be seen. Yeah, for real. Because I'm in here with all of you. Everybody knows that. I'm setting the stage. The room is empty because you made a spiteful, idiotic, and all-round foolish decision. You don't have to let him get to you. You're better than that. You're starting to make things right. <sighs> this is infuriating. Just whatever you do, you can't leave this place. It's not too late to fix this. Probably. Hmm. Slay the princess? I can't think straight. There's too much noise. It's okay. We're almost out of here. Just take it one step at a time and everything will be fine. Okay. Everything won't be fine if you listen to her. One way or another, this is all going to end. Wouldn't it be nice if he ends with it? Wouldn't that be nice? There's only one way to find out. Okay. Your legs, weary with the weight of the princess's spectral form and clumsy with the cold that still pervades them, stumble towards the stairs. I'm just trying to get home. You don't have to act like it's the end of the world. <laughs> that's what he's been doing this whole time. But that's exactly what you leaving this place is going to be. You don't know that. I do. Wait. If she has a home to go back to, doesn't that mean that her leaving won't end the world? It doesn't mean that at all. It could mean that wherever her home is, it's outside of the world. Mm. Yeah, but it has to be somewhere, doesn't it? And if it's somewhere, then it's part of the world. I suppose it's all a matter of perspective. Where does the world end and something else begin? Does the destruction of one open a door to another? Or is it the same world reborn? Against the backdrop of the inane conjecture of meaningless little voices, your body continues its ascent up the stairs, staggering through the open door. For how much you hate her, you aren't doing a whole lot to stop us from leaving this place. I know. Maybe the bossy one doesn't actually hate me. Maybe he even likes me. Or maybe he just knows that he's been in the wrong. Maybe he's trying to make amends too. Not at all. I'll have you know that I do hate you, and I will continue to hate you for as long as I am able. My gosh, man, why? It's just the weight of it all. It's too much for me to do anything other than describe and dictate. And wine. This body wasn't made to hold you and the princess. If you want to renege on your cataclysmically terrible decision a minute ago, well, you're the only one that can make that happen. Trudge forward, okay. You continue slowly to the door, your feet like lead dragging across the floorboards, growing heavier with each step. We're so close. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If we get out of here, I won't even care that you murdered me anymore. <laughs> you I won't even care anymore. And rested on the door handle. But you pause before you open it, exhaustion sapping what's left of your will. Was exhaustion really the best you could muster up? It's over. There's no use stalling. Let's see what happens next. I agree. Let's see what happens. Open the door. Shit. But exhaustion wasn't enough, was it? The handle clicks as you twist it. And then the door groans open. You collapse to the ground. You and the princess, free from the confines of the cabin. As you exhale from the effort, you look up and see. Uh, yes? <laughs> he disappeared again. Nothing. He's gone. And so is everything else. So we did slay him after all. He had it coming, I suppose. <laughs> but what about us? Are we just stuck here in nowhere forever? Did taking her out of the cabin really end the world? We're still here. Yeah, but... That thing you said earlier, uh, are we not part of the world anymore? Are we in some world that exists after the world ends, or on top of the other world but not in it, or have we never been part of the world? First off, 
Calm down. Quit breaking my brain. Okay, I've heard enough from these two. Let's see if I can pop out. Nope. There she goes. Lightness in your chest as a pair of sunken eyes emerge from your body and stare up at you. I'm, oh, you actually freed me, didn't you? I'm outside. Thanks for giving me a second chance, killer. Don't mention it. <laughs> yeah, don't mention it. I think this is where I need to be. Yep, there it is. The hands grabbed her again. You don't get the chance to respawn, or will you ever? It's time to leave. She's gone. Memory returned. Where does she go? Should we try and find her? And is that a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? Yep, yep, yep. Um, I've never I said this. Him in the dark, if I were you. What is that supposed to mean? Whatever awful thing I felt before, it feels so much worse now. I'm sorry, hero. I'll see you on the other side. Did we change again? Gaze into your reflection. Once again, the mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. Okay, you're withered. Oh, yeah, we're worse. We're worse now. We're getting uglier and uglier as time goes on. There we go. Proceed to the cabin again. There she is. Approach her. She's going to look a little different this time because she's I with the ghost. I am a chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new. And to look away is to reshape them yet again. Mm. All of me is changing. And yet the rest of me is still the same. Okay, well, uh... You know. I'm ready to go back. I don't I care. Be here when it is time for us to meet again. We've already done all this stuff, so I'm not going to sit there and do it for o over and over and over. Oh, there we go. Everything goes dark and you die. We can start it again. Bring the specter to her. Okay, so. You're on a path. You're here. Yep, yep. I know. I know. All right. Well, we're going to save it. There we go. Uh, and this is where we're going to end it. The next time I go through, I think I want to try to do a slaying run where... I don't grab the blade, but I try to figure out a way to just slay her. I, d I don't know. Uh, uh, or I'll grab the blade, but not kill her at all. I'm not, I'm not sure how things are going to change, but we'll see. So we've, cause we've gotten what we've gotten a chopped up or I mean a freed princess. We've gotten a specter to her. We've gotten a, like a goddess one or whatever. I think something like that. Yeah. We're, we're there's several, several ones I think that we're still missing. So, oh, this is such a fun game. See y'all in the next one.